Let's talk personal savings rate. So what is a personal savings rate? Well, it's how much of your disposable income, like your net income, you're saving each and every month. Now, if you've never heard of personal savings rate before I just said it, or you read the title of this video, that's okay. I just learned about it a few months ago uh, when I'm in, I've been doing a financial planning course and I learned about it through, through the hat. I had, before that, I had no idea that that was even a thing that people calculated. So basically, there's no like one size fits all um, personal personal savings rate for anybody. It's it's different. There's no like recommended amount, recommended percentage of your income you should be putting into savings. It's really depending on what your goals are and your income. So um, I like calculating my personal savings rate because I have savings goals, right? I'm saving for down payment of a house. I have like emergency fund and different different savings. So each month I have money taken out of my account automatically going to those uh, savings, different savings accounts, just so it's done and I don't have to think about it. So my personal savings rate over the last few months have been the, has been the same because I get the same taken out and I've been earning the same. Um, but as your income increases, it's really easy for those expenses to creep up there as well. So by knowing your personal savings rate, you can tell if you are putting less towards savings or you're staying the same or you're putting more towards savings. And it's a really good indicator of whether or not you're on target with your goals. So I think I said my, mine has been the same since I've started calculating it because I've been putting the same amount away every month and I've been earning the same, but I want to increase this amount. So um, in order to do so, I need to increase my income. And then at the same time, I would increase my savings to keep my personal savings rate the same. So what is my personal savings rate? Well, we're going to look at that in a minute or in a second. I'll show you my actual numbers based on my October budget because we're still in November. So I haven't, I haven't calculated it yet. So we'll use October's number. So we'll just take a look right now. Okay, so your personal savings rate. It's how much of your net income you're putting towards savings. Okay, pretty straightforward. And there, like I said, there's no set amount. There's no percentage that's right or wrong. It's based on your own numbers. So it's your savings divided by net income times 100 equals your personal savings rate. So you wanna see my numbers? Here they are. And again, keep your laughter to a minimum. So each month I put $1,150 away in various savings accounts and my so this is monthly, okay, monthly. And my net income is $3,524.94 per month. And that's a personal savings rate of 33%. So I can calculate it here if you want to see real numbers. 1150 divided by 3524.94 equals times 100 and 33%. So my personal savings rate as of October 31st, 2023 is 33%. So I'm saving 33% of my net income each month. All right. So my personal savings rate is 33%. And so 33% of my disposable income is going to, into savings. And I'm happy with that because that's all I can afford. <laughs> I'm trying to do the most I possibly can while still keeping a little bit of money in the bank account every month. And this is what, this is what's working for me. But like I said, my goal is to increase that. And now that I know the number, um, I'll be able to do that. And it's just, it's just a good indicator to have uh, just to keep you on track with your savings goals. And it's a really easy calculation, right? It's just savings over net income times 100. You can do it with a regular calculator and it take, doesn't take very long, especially if you're doing a budget every month. Um, the figures are right there. So you just plug them in and figure it out. Um, yeah, I think it's a really valuable calculation that... I, that I didn't know about, uh, but now you know about it and hopefully it can help you on your savings journey. So I hope you found this video valuable. And if you did consider giving it, uh, this video a like and subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next one.